Hi, this is Dr. Connie, and this is my new puppy, Happy. I just literally got him about three week, three days ago, and he's about six weeks old. Say hi. <laughs> so anyway, today I want to talk to you about low-dose naltrexone. Most of you know that I'm a rebel when it comes to just about everything in my life. I used to experiment, or I'm used to experimenting with various holistic options to improve my life with lupus. But most recently, I've been experimenting with low-dose naltrexone, and I waited to share this with you to make sure that I can notice the clinical difference. I read the research and I felt the risks were minimal as compared to other options for lupus. So I felt compelled to try it and see how I feel on it. You do need a prescription for it. So I asked my rheumatologist and he politely declined and advised me against it to just stay with the medications that are toxic. So I asked a physician friend to prescribe it for me and the effects were positive. I've been experimenting with LDN for the last three months and I have to say I've improved in the following areas. Number one is improved focus, decreased muscle pain, improved sleep, and improved mood overall. Naltrexone was originally used for opiate and alcohol addiction in large dosages between 50 to 100 milligrams. LDN is low dose naltrexone, anywhere between 1 to 4.5 milligrams. That is effectively used for autoimmune conditions with very low side effects. So how does LDN help autoimmunity and other diseases? Well, it increases endorphins and allows for interaction with certain receptors in the body, which in turn helps to regulate our cells to grow and improve our immunity. And LDN suppresses certain immune responses in order to bring our immune system back into balance, ultimately decreasing autoimmunity. So LDN is also effective for pain reduction because it blocks our brain's pain signals. Whoa. Excuse me. <laughs> LDN also reduces inflammation in the body by blocking certain immune responses. So additionally, LDN decreases T cell activity, which is part of your immune system, provides an anti-inflammatory effect, improves your gut health, improves response to infection, especially viral infections, and positively affects mood and quality of life. There is so much valid research on LDN and its benefits on autoimmunity and the following conditions like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, irritable bowel disease, sarcoidosis, psoriasis, psoriatic arthritis, multiple sclerosis, Hashimoto's, Graves disease, ankylosing spondylitis, juvenile idiopathic arthritis, polymyositis, scleroderma, and Sjogren's syndrome. So side effects of LDN are really minimal. You can experience insomnia, some headaches, diarrhea, anxiety, drowsiness, and vivid dreams. But really, I have not experienced any. And the chances of you experiencing them are very minimal. Typical dose is 1.5 to 4.5 milligrams. It's ideal to start with 1 to 2 milligrams and then increase until the effects are noticed, but do not exceed more than 4.5. I am on three milligrams and I feel great. So I'm probably going to stay on that. And if you want to know more about how LDN can be an option for you, you can visit ldnresearchtrust.org. Link is below. And for those of you who want to give LDN a try, ask your doctor. Or if you need more help by um, seeking a doctor who will prescribe it for you, you'll probably need a telemedicine consult with me so that we can go ahead and help you to get that prescribed. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. And if you like this message, please like us on Facebook, Lupus Rebel and Alkaline Wellness. And also follow us on Instagram at Lupus Rebel and uh, at Alkaline Wellness. And subscribe also to our newsletters on LupusRebel.com. Until next time, see you soon.